Hey guys, bit of a different video today. Welcome to Code Tech Tutorials. My name is Matt. In this video, I want to talk about getting out of tutorial hell. You've all heard of that, right? And naturally, as I'm a channel that literally makes tutorials, I should know how to get out of tutorial hell, right? Well, it's uh, quite simple, really, when you think about it. When you go to program or do something, like say you're using a new language or you're just getting into programming, so you want to do something, you look up some basic tutorials, you look up some projects, they kind of walk you through it, but examples get outdated and things break and you get stuck halfway through, and you just kind of go through this thing where you're just continuously doing tutorials. And uh, how do you get past that? Right? How do you get to a level where you actually do what you want? You don't even have to look at any tutorials. You just start doing the thing. Well, there is a place for tutorials, and it, it is usually the introduction. When you want to get past and out of tutorials, you have to start looking at specifications. You have to look at the manual for how to use things. And maybe you go to some website and you get walkthroughs, or you watch videos and you get walkthroughs. That's all fine for some basic starting points, but for any of these things that they're using, any of the tools that they're using in those videos, they all have manuals and documentation, and you need to look through that stuff. Say you want to do a little more, but the tutorials don't seem to have what you're thinking of, maybe. You might want to start looking at the reference pages there. And of course, they're not going to make sense at first, so you're probably going to have to go find some kind of examples or tutorials a little bit. And that's what the tutorials are for, just to kind of get your feet wet. They're not really for replacing documentation. And, you know, I usually go to tutorials the first time I learn anything because, well, you kind of want to get the initialization. Like, how do you get it initialized, right? And then once you have the thing initialized, sure, you can keep following, but you could also just start going on your own. And it's like that for everything. There's documentations that are not tutorials that just tell you what functions and things do. And you can go off of those and use your own creativity. And that is kind of where things like design patterns come in handy, but you don't even really need to know those. You just need to be good at problem solving because most of those come somewhat naturally when you think about it. And if you haven't necessarily thought about it, then reviewing all that stuff helps. And of course there's algorithms, but algorithms is more concerned with optimizing and speeding up code in general when you talk about it. So a lot of times if you're doing something custom, there isn't an obvious algorithm or an obvious workflow sometimes you got to make it up sometimes you're coming up with a new product at this point in software development there aren't a whole lot of new products almost everything is generally about the same there's a lot of replication these days all the big apps they're all basically the same thing you know they all do media support and you can like and post and make accounts and like every social media app is a replication of that with maybe a different tiny bit of different logic somewhere but in general it's all the same stuff so that's the reason tutorials are so good too because like what are you going to do besides that i don't know it's up to you but you can get that base that everyone's already at often through tutorials a lot of times you have to dig into some documentation because once you get like deep into it you know programming takes a lot of time people will spend months and months working on their thing and when they're finally done with it the last thing they want to do is go back through and make tutorials for everything or if they're making tutorials in the middle of doing their thing I run into this a lot when I'm implementing something. Sometimes I'll think, oh, okay, this is great. I got this all figured out. I should make a tutorial on it. And what happens is rather than moving on from my problem that I already solved, I say I stay stuck in it for another day or two, kind of like developing a tutorial around it or something. But uh, maybe better just to one-shot those and do them real quick because they do take a lot of time to uh, edit and stuff. But what happens there is it slows down your project progress because you're now stopping and shifting focus into making tutorials. So what I'm getting to here is people that often actually complete these apps and, and have all the knowledge, they don't share it because it takes so much dang time to put it out there. It's easier for them to just keep going with their job or work and stay focused on that and not worry about, you know, the whole side of training people all the time, which is basically what making tutorials and stuff feels like. That's what this channel is for, basically just you know, helping out people that are uh, either stuck or want to know more or just getting into it. So to summarize, basically you want to use the tutorial as a hello world and a starting off point. And you want to use it to maybe gain some understanding, but it's not necessarily going to be for your project. 
because once you dig into the documentation and start reading stuff, that's when you realize there's little things here and there that you can make a lot better. That's often how it goes. So yeah, just tutorials, only a starting off point. If you really want to do the thing, you got to be digging into the manuals and trying to kind of push the boundaries of what that thing is. Now, I'm being vague purposely because this really applies to all areas, just depends what direction you're going. You've really got to take in what you can in that day. Um, another thing I see happen a lot is people just overwhelm themselves with the stuff they feel like they need to know and then it's too much so they just never do it and the way to approach that I think is to just take a small bite you gotta you gotta have a small idea you want to do something big you gotta pick a small piece of that just pick an area and kind of learn a little bit of that and uh, it's really that for everything even the web stack you know you gotta learn a piece at a time and you're not gonna do it all in one day you might be able to get a broad overview in a day and uh Maybe if you go through a quick tutorial of setting up the different pieces, you might be able to get most of it in a day or two if you're super good. Um, but that's assuming everything's clean and there's no errors, which tends to happen. You usually run into stuff. And that's when you gotta really dig in. You kind of come naturally out of the tutorial phase at some point, but you also always go back to it at some point, especially when you're learning something new and just need a starting off point and need someone to kind of explain some things to you. That's uh, that's really what it's for. If you already have a teacher, you, you might already know all this stuff, so you might go right to the documentation. You know, a lot of it is just time to and uh coming back day after day that's what builds up a lot of getting out of that phase and uh now you know the last thing i'll mention is just actually working on a project um it it almost uh, you know i've said this before but it really doesn't matter a whole lot what it is you just need something that you're passionate about and something that you kind of have a goal with and that's and that's it um you can keep working on that if you don't have a goal with it anymore you can always shift projects you know if you don't have the drive to make your own projects or jump on projects, there's tons of people that need help. And even if you tell them you're just learning, they'll probably still accept your help because there's a lot of work to be done in a code base. And some of the stuff is like, I don't know, even kind of obvious for newbies once they start digging in. It's just, uh, I think every coder helps. Definitely. All right. Well, let me know what you got, your guys' thoughts are down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.